Now, Boss Francis, I don't honestly tell you, you're being screwed on this one. There's no way in life they're allowing me to do a video for you. I have a story to tell you. You know I always got one. But I want to tell you something right now. This new crusade, Jerome, for America to document murders by the police, for us to tell our stories from stories that we've heard and stories that we've seen. So I get on YouTube to tell the story about Terry Lee Grinner. Because, like you said, was the guy guilty or innocent? Was the guy a good guy or bad by bad guy? Tell the story because the man was killed by the police. So I go to your video. I look at the beginning of the video again. And then I click on go ahead and make a video response. Last night, for 40 minutes, I sat just like this. And I watched the screen say, connecting, connecting, connecting. Unplug the video camera, plug the camera back up. Go to any other spot in YouTube. Let's try one of Wise New Wins videos. Let's try the JW Faux video. And they allow me to do a video. Went to uh, Sergeant Willie Pete. They allowed me to do a video. Go back to your video. Connected. Connected. For another 20 minutes. I was like, fuck it. I went to bed. Woke up this morning. Did two videos. I think I did two videos. Went straight to your video. Connected. Connected. See, the problem is when there's substance and when you line the right people up and they say the right things and things get noticed something will happen you put me in the mix you put certain people in the mix and you line us up right just the power not of the words we use the power and the passion that comes out of us I can say A, B, C, D, E, F, G it's how I say it when I command it, that's what people hear. And when you lower your voice down and you talk to the soul of somebody, that's what people feel. But you asked us all to tell the truth about a situation. They won't allow me to. So I got to disguise my fucking video and then try to connect it to yours. I won't do that. I will not upload a video on this subject until I can link it to yours directly. I'm tired of doing replies to people's videos and they won't link me directly. It used to be, I'm replying to this video, I just gotta wait for the person to approve it. Now they won't let me reply to videos anymore. Is there any power? Is there any power in holding one back? Is there any reason for me not to do a video on this subject? There is a reason. Because they know at any given time the real AI can say something and make people think. They don't want me to tell the story, the story about Terry Lee Grinner shot down shot in the back twice while running from the police. He hit that fence. Bah! Shot him in the side. He dropped his gun. He can't make that fence. He's running for another one. <coughs> As he puts his hand on the fence, he shot him in the back of the head. And that's where he laid dead. Yes, he had a gun, and he pointed it at the cops. But when they shot him in the back, he dropped his gun. I don't have a gun anymore. 
I have a hole in my back and I'm running to live. I don't want to die. I'm trying to live. I don't know what was going through his mind. I know what he told his family members before he left the house earlier that day. I know what he felt inside his head because too many people told me. But I know one thing. I know if you shoot a broke motherfucker in the back, he ain't gonna go to, to the mob doctor and get fucking healed up and nobody know he was ever shot. You shoot a regular man in the fucking back, he is gonna walk until he falls. wasn't a good guy. By any stretch of the word. He was good people. You can do some fucked up shit and still be a good person. You can be an asshole and a great father. You can be a prick and nobody loves you except for your family. Right or wrong. No man deserves to die. Let alone being shot in the back and then in the head. Let alone having 20, 30 people run out their apartments and watch this shit. Let alone being shot down by another black man. So people can say that white cop is just racist. That fucking cop is just racist against all blacks. That was a black cop that shot Terry Lee Gritter down. Us black people have a sense that some white people don't have. And this sense is the sense of drama. You know when the shit's gonna go down before it goes down when you're black. You never caught off surprise when you're black. You either walk into it and know how to figure it out or figure it out while you're walking into it. TJ wasn't always a good guy. He wasn't always a bad guy. He was family. Me and him had arguments and fights. I didn't like him. I did an album cover for him one time. He told me, you need your ass kicked for this. I'm like, why? You expect me to pay for this? Fuck you. Fuck you, Lonzo, and grab his 80 CDs and left without paying me. That's a smooth motherfucker. Complained about it, took the work, and left anyway. Never saw him since. He was gone after that. Didn't get to see him anymore. The infamous grin. He got some videos on YouTube. You can see him rapping with Ray Love and all them. You can see he had a future. You can see tomorrow was there. But you can't see. What you can't see is made, what made him do what he did that final night. What made him feel like, I am not going to make it. He even wrote it down on the wall at his cousin's house. I may die tonight. I might not make it. And he died that night. The police were sitting and waiting. That same police officer had been fucking with this man ever since high school. You know Jack Tatum, the football player? His son shot Terry Lee to death. So apparently they was leaving out of the supermarket parking lot and Terry drove by the motherfucker. Forgot something, doubled back around, went back to the store, got something else, and left out the parking lot, and then that's when the chase pursued. Gets to an apartment complex, gets out and runs. Flashes the gun back like that, pulls it forward. Runs another hundred yards. Shot rang out. BOW! Shot him in the back. He's running towards a fence. He can't hit that fence. He shoots towards this other fence. Drops his gun. Fuck that. Runs about 60 yards. Puts his hand up on the fence. BOW! Shot that man dead. And it's okay because he's got a record. It's fine. This police officer had just got back from shooting somebody. And that means he's been tubed.